G'day gang, welcome to the channel, I'm MP Numbers and I appreciate you being here, but today we're going to get straight into a Throne of Eldraine standard deck tech. Now tell me, are you the kind of player who doesn't want to have to think too hard about the cards you play and just want to slam your creatures and attack all? Are you the kind of player who likes to get games done quickly? I have them only take 4 or 5 minutes on average. Are you the kind of player who likes lots of triggers showing up to help you melt away your opponent's life total? And are you the type of player who likes to have fragile deck plans built around one specific card that falls apart completely if you don't have it? That one, that one doesn't serve it. Anyway, I've got the deck for you. This is a, a bit of a rebuild and I know the deck exists otherwise, but this is the version I've built. It is Cavalcade of Calamity, which is a fantastic enchantment, but you need to draw it. Let's have a look at the deck. So the main card in this deck is Cavalcade of Calamity. When you attack with a one power creature, you deal one damage. If you've been following this deck previously, you'll know about the combination. You'll know the Scorch Spitter, you'll know the Chandra Spitfire, and you'll know the sweet things that happen when you have all three of those cards in play. Now obviously this standard rotation is sh shaking things up from the last time the deck was built, and this is what I'm doing at the moment. So as well as those three cards, we've added the new Fervent Champion. It's a 1-1 one -one with haste. They do buff each other if you have two of them, but you can stack your triggers so that you're still going to get the one damage off the cavalcade, no problem. We've also got the Tin Street Dodger, the one, one drops, because it, it's a staple for the deck. It can be unblockable, it gets the damage in, it helps you, uh, helps you get your opponent to zero. At the two drop spot, we've got Tibalt's Ranger. Tibalt's Ranger comes into play, does damage, and if you find yourself in a really awkward spot where you've got mana to spend for some silly reason, you can, uh, you can add some power after the trigger goes on. In the three spot, obviously we've got the Spitfire, but I also play a playset of the Clamor Shamans. Clamor Shamans, they come down, you never put a counter on it, you always give it haste, turns off their best blocker, adds extra damage into the mix, and goes from there. The, probably the, one of the best cards that we've added from Throne of Eldraine. It does cost four, which is probably a little bit too much for these decks that I like to play. But it is Torbran, Thane of Redfell. Now, if you happen to go one drop Scorch Spitter, two drop Cavalcade of Calamity, three drop Chandra Spitfire, four drop Torbran, there is no point your opponent even clicking anything because they are so dead. Outside of our creature base, we've got... Lava Coils, Scorching Dragonfires, just in case a couple of creatures get in the way. Light up the stage, helps you draw a couple of extra cards, and barge in, adds a little bit extra, extra damage, and if opponents are doing something weird with 1-1 Flyers, it does give your Spitfire Trample. Outside of that, we've got 18 Mountains and 4 of Castle and Breath, because again, we can, after your creatures have attacked and done their damage, you can pump them up, get extra power in there. It's all about just getting those last couple of points in to make your opponent's face melt off. So, as I kind of hinted at the start, the, the deck is pretty fragile. If you don't get those Cavalcade of Calamities in the first couple of draws, you are a lot less likely to win the games. So you need to mulligan aggressively, you need to have things work out for you. I did play this in the Play Anything, the, the deck that's on Arena at the moment, uh, where you get access to all the cards, you can play 12 games. I played 12 games in under an hour, um, I won eight of those games, lost four of them, so it wasn't great. Uh, the games we lost were things that were doing gross stuff with Oko, elemental decks we lost to, and there was a Black White Knights we lost to as well. I'm not sure what the fourth one was. Um, the deck is so much fun. If, if, if you are a part of a player who likes to attack, who likes, again, as I said, just likes to see your opponent's life total dribble down to zero, um, this is fun. Look, I'm going to chuck in some gameplay. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Jump in the comments let me know how you would build this deck is there anything i've, I've missed um have you tried something similar and what are you going to be playing in the play anything the, the serious one that comes out and to try and win some cards or whatever's going to happen soon as always i've been mp numbers thanks for watching okay so this hand is solid so pretty much with this deck if you have calamity in ha in hand you're pretty happy uh if you don't have it you're not as happy, but uh, yeah, so happens. 20 lands means you're not drawing as many. Obviously, we can cast pretty much everything in our hand straight up. Absolute keep. Oh, I've got to change my pet to the Fey Fox. Turn it on, Temple. All right, let's start some damage. Depending on what our opponent does on turn two, we'll determine whether we uh, 
play our cavalcade straight away, or if we look at switching our, our, our uh, Tabalt's Rager first. Opponent surveilling and drawing cards. Alright, let's play a Tabalt's Rager here. So our goal is going to be to Volt Ranger this turn, attack for two, Spitfire next turn, and then Cavalcade the next turn to do just tons of damage. Hopefully our opponent can't interact too effectively with that, what we're going to do here. Sure. Sure. Okay, so opponent's drawing cards, that's fine. Right, we're going to be doing this. Let's see what happens. No tagging. Opponents left up two mana here. Could be anything from removal spells to counter spells. Thrill possibility. Reason with only blew up. So they could still have a counter. Never mind. Opponents go on deep on discovery. Um, right, here what happens if we. So, this is non. So, I guess what we want to do is play Cavalcade. Play Cavalcade, kill the Electromancer, attack. I don't know the math here, so I'm just going to let it happen. And then, if the opponent's still alive, we play four by next turn, and we should just win. Actually, probably not that much. Bones alive on three. As long as we get one creature alive and Torban in play, we're fine. Crackling Drake, sure. And that will be the game. And scoops. That's one. This hand obviously not as exciting because we don't have the Calamity, but we still have the Torban, um, which is kind of a substitute. So we'll definitely start on Scorch Spitar, then go to Tin Street, go to Rajo, and then go from there. Again, I'm not a mathematician, but this is a metric fuck ton of damage. Got him! Alright, let's do it again. Sounds a little awkward because of all the land. If we. It's fine, but if we don't hit another land, if we hit another land, it's basically dead to us. We've loosed another die roll. We've loosed another die roll. Let's mulligan this hand. Um, it's just, yeah. This is better. Uh, we'll keep the six and we'll put the clamor shaman on the bottom. Seems fine. What's the opponent going to have for us? Not more elementals, please. Breeding pool is not promising for the not more elementals plan. Let's see what happens. Land three in the next two turns would be wonderful. Ugh, elementals. Uh, do we kill that?
Let's just start dealing damage, I think. I think we'll, sa we'll save the Lava Coil for the Risen Reef next turn. Then we draw my land. Spitfire, Torbran, win the game. Another land's not terrible here. We're just going to play Spitfire. Attack it in for two. Get two damage in. Yeah, maybe we should have killed a Druid. If they have Omnath here, it's pretty bad for us. Okay, they're going to look at the lands. Interesting card that I would not expect to see in a constructed deck. Do we just win now? Let's have like main board plummets. So much damage. Very explosive deck when it wants to be. Another keep. Start on Spitter. Into Rager. Have the Barge in for some combat stuff and run. Do more stuff. Oh, Fervent Champion is better. Um, Need a removal spell or a cavalcade. Mm. Are we dead? Wait. Wait, the opponent's just dead. One, two, and then. So we need four, five, six lands. We have seven. Trigger. Creatures you control. Did it for both of them, so they can't, yeah. Got him. This hand is kind of bad, but also kind of amazing. So I'm going to keep it. We're going to risk it. Hope our opponent's not super aggressive. Uh-oh. Okay, Scorch Spitter. So the plan is Scorch Spitter. Cavalcade, 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 Kramer Shaman. Hits it gets a counter. Sure. Two damage versus three damage. So next turn we can even cavalcade attack and then light up the stage. If there's no blocker. If there is a blocker, we can always claim a shaman. Mm-hmm. So we're going to take three here. Okay, so we go for the... We go for the... Clemmer Shaman. Haste. 
juice can't block. There's some shit that's happening. I hope it's not an aristocrat style set by the looks of it. Could be, it could go either way, it could be interesting. Uh, if they can get an extra couple of points in before we can go critical mass. Another Dread Horde Butcher. So we're going to take... Oof, okay, four... If we get a land here, is that, is that just lethal? Let's see. So again, so this is going to be... One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Yep, okay, that should be game. Unless, of course, shock. Shock's what we worry about here. Didn't even get to play all the cavalcades. Man, I was so excited about that one. Alright, five and one. Looks like a gip to be. turn we should win. Something crazy would have to happen here, because even if they play a fly, if they play another bit fire, then they would need to um I'd get trampled anyway, so yeah it's, it's GG's. Matter. I probably just didn't block. Okay. Just wanted to be safe. I'm gonna make sure I got the damage in. Alrighty, that's been the games. That's the deck. That's the games. Tell me what you think. As always, if you want to chat with me, find me on Twitter, find me on Facebook, find me on Discord. All those links are in the description. And if you really like what you're seeing, you can support the channel. I am affiliated with Ink Gaming. If you hit the link down in the description below and use the code MP numbers 10, you can save 10% off your order. You can pick up some awesome playmats. I just bought four playmats myself for some friends. Um, use my own code. Hey, hey. Um, I've also got Patreon, you can support me directly, we've got an eBay store, you can grab t-shirts, all that kind of stuff. Otherwise, just liking, commenting, and subscribing would be much appreciated. Bye.